What's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. I do want to apologize for not uploading yesterday or the day before. The day before, I was having internet issues, and yesterday, I just had no power at all throughout my house, like, almost all day. So, I didn't have, like, lighting to record, so I couldn't even, like, edit. Nothing. I couldn't do anything. So, I do apologize for that, but now I'm back. Anyways, moving on to today's video, I am doing a sneaker app review. This name of the app is called Flip, and I will explain the app as I go through it. By the way, thumbs up if you like the new backdrop, because you guys have been asking me to change it for a while now. And, I mean, it kind of is different. It kind of really isn't. I tried my best. There's not really much I can do in my room since so the room is really, really small. If you do want to see a tour of my room, go ahead and check out my latest video on my other channel. So starting off, the name of the app is called Flip, and that is their logo right there. You can go ahead and open that up after you download it from the App Store. And the first thing you see here is two raffles, basically. The first one's for Yeezys, which sold out. And then the next one is the one that's for the Nike Air Mags. And I'm pretty sure these are the self-lacing ones, which is why their market value is $12,500. As you guys can see, every ticket costs $25, and there is 19,812 spots left to enter for this Nike mag. But now going on to what the app really is, it basically is an app where you can flip your shoes. So, all right, and what this app is, it's basically like an auctioning site. It's basically like an eBay, but it's not eBay. It's Flip. That's the name of the app. And you can flip your shoes here and you can also buy them as well. So it's convenient for both a seller and a buyer because if you're a seller and you have no market and you don't know where to sell, this is a good place to go. Because like, for example, let's go to this one right here. This auction opens up in one day. It is a great school. Oh no, it's not. Oh, wow, she looks really weird. But anyways, they're selling the GMP sevens for a price of 165. But then eventually the prices will go up if somebody wants some, so can go up to 170, 180, 190. And it actually benefits the seller, like I said, because if they don't have a market, they can just go to this app and sell them. But they have to be authentic, of course, because the app does check if they're authentic after they sell. Actually, I think they check prior to selling and after they sell. And you could sell dead stock and used shoes. Like here, you can see that this pair right here is used. The distance from me is, I think, 1.8 miles, which is crazy. It tells you the box, it's the original of the year, the style code, so you don't like get mixed up with any other type like it could be like a sample or it could be a general release like some shoes look the same but they could have different style codes for example like pirate blacks they have two different releases with two different style codes if we go to like see, right here the wings the market value tells you is 500 size 12 brand new distance is 520 miles from me original box the year 2017 that's the year they released and the style code and then they do put pictures here so you can see and these are pictures from the actual person that has a shoe and they want 300 to start off but the price can always go up and this starts in three hours and 28 minutes which this video will most likely be up before then so you guys can go ahead and check that out and just watch how the watch how the market goes with this shoe watch how people start auctioning them and start offering prices for the shoe and they even have a receipt right here it shows that it's authentic from nike now let me show you guys some of the auctions that already ended all right the latest one was this adidas yeezy boost 750 the pirate black colorway as you guys can see they put really nice detailed pictures up here and they are dead stock they size 12 they even they, you can see the dust bags in there and then you can see the papers in the inside still the market value is 1500 for these apparently that's i guess at the average but this buyer got them for 998 dollars which to me is a good price for pirate blacks because i think on gold they're going for like 1250 and up and you can see that they're men's obviously size 12 brand new and the distance is 2345 miles i don't know where that is but that's somewhere out of the state so that's cool that it tells you where it's located so i mean even after if you do win you can expect how long it will take to ship to you and also these came out in 2015 Damn, they came out that long ago and the style code is bb1839 and um and below here you can see people like how much they offer so starting off it was 100 and you can leave a comment with your offer so you can see 103 104 105 111 112 and this guy just says screw it i'm just gonna jump to 200 because you might as well like no, that shoe's not gonna sell for 115. It's gonna go a little bit higher, obviously. People are gonna pay their prices, but they're gonna like try to even out. They're not gonna try to pay too much, and they're not gonna try to pay too little, because of course, somebody's always gonna offer a little more. And you guys can see 300, 400, 500. They even passed 500. Some guys just said, screw it, 800 all the way through. And he paid 800, and then it went up all the way up to 998, so basically $1,000. Moving on to the next year that ended, you do have an NMD tricolor. These sold for 174, and that's, I think, a little bit above retail i think retail was like 170 but after tax it was like 180 and they were brand new market value is 275 which i don't know about that distance is 21.4 miles i guess not too far 2016 they did release last year didn't they release this year i don't remember i don't exactly remember but you do have the style code and you can see it started off at 171 and then the most anybody paid was 
174, you only have four offers. Moving on to the next shoe, you do have a little infant boost, which I'm not gonna get to, but then you have the 9317s. These have a market value. Um, let me see. Here, wings. These wings sold for 300, which I don't know if that's a good price for them right now. I think they're going for around 500, which the market value is correct on these. Brand new, size 10 and a half, 427.3 miles away from me. Original 2017 and a style code. And here you guys have pictures of the shoe. Wings in the bottom, the box, the box again, shoes, and the receipt. So I guess they require you, I don't know if they require you to put the receipt in there, but I guess some sellers do it so you can show like the legitness of the shoe. Legitness. So if you want to sell a pair of shoes in the app, all you gotta do is click the money sign right there and then put the brand of the shoe. Well, you can actually select it. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Put the style code in, the condition, the box, original, no box damage, other. Obviously, the size, you're gonna need to know that woman, men, or youth. And then authenticity check, add. So you would put the receipt and serial number. Oh, look, you guys can see yourself right there. I can see myself too. That's lit. And now you guys know what my camera looks like if you guys have never seen it before. And that pretty much wraps up the app. It's pretty simple, pretty simple to use, pretty cool, pretty dope idea, really dope concept. What I can say about it is that as a buyer, it's pretty good if you want to get your shoes a little bit below retail. I'm not saying you're going to get a crazy steal. I mean, it's possible, but you're not going to always get a steal. You can always get a good price for them, though. Like, I've seen a lot of people get good prices on them. Sometimes average, sometimes a little bit below, so that's good. As a seller, it's good, like I said. If you don't have like a marketplace to sell them to, then you can just go ahead and go there and you'll sell them within, I think they promise 90 minutes. So the auctions last 90 minutes and then another auction goes up. So it's actually one auction at a time. So you're not overwhelmed by like a bunch of options. Like eBay is just a bunch of options, a bunch of options, a bunch of auctions just put in one place. And this one's just one by one. So it's not too overwhelming. And also if you just have a pair of shoes that have been sitting there, you've been wanting to sell them for a while and they don't sell, you can go ahead and throw them on the app. Throw them for a low price and then maybe people will start offering them. Maybe the, so there'll be people that like the shoe because there's a bunch of users on this app. So go ahead and just throw them on the app and hope to sell them. I mean, most likely they will. You'll sell them in 90 minutes. Like I'm about to put these three shoes I have over here. I just spoke about them on my tomb, the tomb roar, roar. I can't even say, I can't even speak right now. On the room tour, I said I was selling like three pairs of shoes. On top of that, I have a pair of pirate blacks that I'm selling, which I will probably put on the app so you guys will see there soon if you go ahead and download it. If you wanna go ahead and download it, actually you can go down in the description down below. I will leave a link to the app so you can go ahead and download it with easier access. Anyways, to wrap this video up, I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day and today's fan of the day is Nanor123. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers, so I can choose a winner for the easy giveaway. Make sure to stay well. Our sign out.